Hey guys, it's me, the dude who talks, and welcome. So for today, I'll be talking about the new album from Some Became Hollow Tubes, which is called Unhealthy for Sensitive Groups, which is out on the 22nd of April through Ripcord Records. Some Became Hollow Tubes is a post-rock slash drone project between Eric Quash, I really hope I got that name right, from This Quiet Army, and Aidan Gert from Godspeed, you Black Emperor. They came together through a chance meeting in 2016 with the goal of creating like a demo of composite sounds. This then led on to the release of their day. The inspiration for the latest release came from a request for a new composition to be put on a compilation album for Giza Records, which had inspired them to go further and create more music. Also, what came into play was wildfires spreading across Canada, which influenced the album and the song titles. Plus, the album title came from like an air quality warning at the time. So, with all that out of the way, what did I think of Unhealthy for Sensitive Groups? Did I like it or did I hate it? Let's find out. So, for those who want to know, Unhealthy for Sensitive Group consists of three tracks and clocks in at over 40 minutes. So we have the first song called All I Can Think About Is The Earth Is On Fire And The Smoky Skies. Starts off very gloomy, very atmospheric sounding, very like in line with ambient sounds. If it was described like shimmering as a sound, it would be this. And there's also that this really like echoey feel. Listen to it at first glance and if you're looking for like what it might sound like, if you're a fan of artists like Aidan Baker, Tim Hecker, Litchins or Worried About Satan, this will definitely be up your street. The drone sounding is very constant and repetitive. It is building up to something however as you can hear like throughout a drum beat getting louder and louder though it is very slow and the song is an absolute slow burn with its 17 minute length. Though I did feel like it would go off to a crescendo at one point but it goes off into a slightly different direction, slightly slower space pace for a bit. On a side note with the drumming though, I was definitely like, I recognise it immediately as the dude from um, Godspeed. It was like that style was there. So, as a side note, it's not a conventional song by any means. If you're looking for something that's like very structured with like a chorus, a bridge or a breakdown, you won't find it here. But what you'll find is something very meditative, um, atmospheric and very quite challenging in the way you listen to it. Towards the end, however, it does get very climatic as it gets even louder. The one thing I will say, there will be criticisms from people or listeners saying that it's not going to go to places that they would expect, but for me it's like looking at a painting. Some people will get it, some people won't, and that is completely fine. The next song is called No One Is Okay and is much shorter than the first song. It's very more drone leaning and a bit harsher sounding, very reminiscent of the band Nadja seeing as I was talking about Aidan Baker earlier. There's less build up on this song and it's like very like swilling the drones and the drumming works well to complement that. There's also quite a few elements of kraut rock thrown into the mix of this song which make for an interesting listen. Here is a little bit of a clip of the song. <laughs> And that just leaves the last song on the album, which is called My Eyes Are Itchy and I Can Barely Breathe. It feels more in pace with the first song, and for me, it's like a continuation of that song. It feels more harsher in sound, and it gave me fuck bottom vibes. God, I 
really miss that band. While it is very slow paced, it didn't feel boring or plodding, it genuinely felt really intense to listen to, almost suffocating you with its sound. Not only that, the song felt and sounded very melancholic, it was like a sadness to it, and it was like very downbeat. The sonic textures throughout the album, and this links with my point about comparing it to a painting, this album could easily paint a number of shapes and colour with its um, sound, and I'm going to go as far and say that it should be accompanied with its own visual like style, like a backdrop if they ever play this album live, and I would really love to see them play this live. Okay, it's time for the nitpicks. And I've only got one, and you can probably see this coming. It will take a number of listens to fully appreciate this record. If you're someone with not a lot of patience, you probably won't appreciate it, as it does take a few listens to really scratch the surface. And for someone to say that it's so much more than just, you know, noise. Although, if you're definitely not a fan of this genre, I don't think this album will change your mind whatsoever. My overall opinion on this record is that it's very sonically intense. There's an atmosphere that will slowly suffocate you with noisy drones balanced with a dose of crowd rock rhythm. You really do have to listen to it a number of times to fully appreciate it, but if you stick with it, your patience will be rewarded. So if gloomy ambient post-rock wasn't your thing, I may have something that you will like in the form of the band Twin Void who've brought out an album called Free From Hard Times which came out on the 1st of April through Electric Valley Records and uh, the sound is like stoner rock mixed with like a lot of southern vibes kind of similar to bands like Left Lane Cruiser but they sound a little bit like Kylisa as well that's what I got from the first couple of songs when listening to it also it reminded me of a band called Maylene and the Sons of Disaster as well with that kind of southern vibes. So if you're into that kind of music, um, definitely give this a go. Um, also, the lead singer from Cancer Bats features on one of the songs, um, California Death Rattle. So if you're a fan of Cancer Bats as well, you might like this as well. Let's go. So that was me talking about unhealthy for sensitive groups by Some Became Hollow Tubes. Are you thinking of picking this album up? Please let me know if you are down below in the comment section. Like always, if you've enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe. It really helps out. Just want to quickly plug my socials as well. I'm on Instagram and Facebook. Um, if you want to give me a like and a follow on them, I'll be including links to them in the description section. Also want to mention that I've also got a buy me a coffee page. So if you're feeling generous and want to donate, feel free to do so. I'm not asking for much, just a couple of quid. It really helps. And that is it from me. I've been the dude who talks. You guys are always fucking awesome. I'll see you soon.